pastor over the next couple of weeks, but if there's anyone here who would like to say a few words tonight, we would love for you to come on up and grab the mic, and if you don't want to come up three steps, that's not a problem. If the microphone cord is long enough, we can uh, hand it down to you. Anybody want to say something? Her sister won. Oh, no. <laughs> she knows everything. She knows everything. <laughs> realizes how much I respect her and how proud I am of her. Marilyn had the courage to follow her dream, to follow her passion at a time when it wasn't the easiest path to choose. When we were young, as the story has been told by our dad, Marilyn was about nine years old and she was asked what she wanted for Christmas. Her answer was, black stockings and a Bible. I'm not sure if Marilyn got the black stockings, but I'm pretty sure she received her own Bible. I think it's on the table up there. Marilyn had a passion. Marilyn had a dream. As a young girl at our small Lutheran church in upstate New York, when Marilyn expressed to our pastor her desire to one day become a pastor, his response was to forget about that. Women will never be pastors. But Marilyn had a passion. Marilyn had a dream. While raising their two young sons, Marilyn and her first husband were relocated several times due to Bruce's job, but they were always active in starting or growing a church in those new places. Marilyn's passion and her dream were really just budding. A number of years later, while raising two teenage boys as a single mother, Marilyn decided to give up a safe, and I think lucrative CPA career. She used some newly inherited funds and took a huge leap of faith to enroll as a new seminary student at Lutheran Theological Seminary in Columbia, South Carolina. She called to tell me her decision and that Dad's reaction had been, what, are you nuts? <laughs> I expressed my support and said, well, what did you expect, it's Dad. Marilyn was following her passion. She was following her dream. In 2005, Marilyn was ordained as a Lutheran pastor, a female Lutheran pastor, and accepted her first call at Christ the King Lutheran Church in Greenville, South Carolina. Marilyn was beginning to live her passion, to live her dream. In 2014, Marilyn and David, to whom she was now happily married, decided to move to Florida to be closer to her sons and family and she accepted the call to Gloria Day here in Leesburg. You know the rest of the story. Marilyn followed her passion. She followed her dream. So today I'm happy to celebrate with all of you to recognize the time when Marilyn will soon turn a page in her life history, and she and David will begin their retirement life together. So Marilyn, I wish you and David many happy times many relaxing days, and all of God's blessings. I'm proud of you, I respect you, and I love you.